Hey folks, welcome to the Budget Outdoor Adventure channel. I know it's confusing because we're in the garage and not outside, but hear me out. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how we took this thing. This is the most affordable thermal camera that I could find on the market and did this with it. We made the most affordable thermal camera mounted to a bump helmet. And I'm gonna show you how we did it in this video. Now this thing is the Milsi TNV10. This is a thermal imager, and this thing is actually marketed towards outdoor folks, outdoorsmen, hunters, and the like. And I thought it'd be fun to try to mount this thing to a helmet. Now I actually have a full review of this thing on my main channel, that's the Do It Yourself Dad channel, where I'm using this thing more as a tool to look for hot and cold spots around my house. But figured it was worth trying to stick it on a helmet. Now this camera, like I mentioned before, is a thermal camera, kind of like uh, in the movie Predator. So this is not a night vision camera. This picks up thermal signatures, which is arguably sometimes better than night vision because this thing can work in total darkness because everything has some sort of a heat signature coming off of it. Now, what I did to mount this thing was this. It came with a tripod mount. And you can see here the tripod mount therefore is going to be hanging upside down, but that's not really a problem because this is a rectangular screen. So we're just flipping it vertically and it actually makes it a little bit better because it gives all of our controls a little bit more accessibility. And this is the mount that we made. Now this mount is meant to clip into a Wilcox mount on your standard bump or tactical helmet. So this is a two piece print that we actually 3D printed and I will have the uh, links to the files for this down below. Now this is actually a remix from somebody else who created this. They created it for a different thermal camera and I reshaped the bottom of it. So I'm gonna give him full credit down below because he certainly deserves it. He did a great job designing this mount, and then I just redesigned it for this. So I'll have a link for this down below, and then a generic mount you can use for any sort of mounting to a bump helmet. Now, what this does is this gives you the cleat, and it gives you adjustability from left to right. And when this thing is mounted onto the helmet here, just screws on like so. Now, the threaded piece here that I'm using is the threaded piece that is for the J-arm that would normally be coming with your mount here. Now, if you are printing something like this at home, I would not recommend using PLA plastic. That's not what I used here. Um, this is PLA plus. I would recommend PLA plus or ABS. PLA is brittle and you certainly don't want this thing snapping when it's on your helmet. So now that we've got it this in place, you can just slip this guy in, make sure it clicks so we don't have this thing falling off. And now you've got this thing mounted to your bump helmet. And you can see here, because I mentioned it has that left and right ability to adjust, you can adjust this thing so it's directly over your eye. Now, the one other thing to consider with this is the way this one is set up, the lens cover here will flop back in front of it when this thing is down. So you wanna find a way to tuck this or get it out of the way. I'm actually planning on adding a little magnet there so I can magnet it up here to the mount. That is just an issue of taking the helmet itself and bringing this thing down and making all of your adjustments. Now I have this thing adjusted right now so it is perfectly in front of my eye, but with these style mounts, you can adjust it up, down, left, right, and get it exactly perfect. And when you don't need it, it pops right up out of the way. So now I'm outside, I'm just in my backyard because I wanted to play around with this thing hooked up like this. And it actually does a pretty good job doing this with both eyes open. I have my left eye looking through the camera and my right eye looking straight out ahead. Now, because I don't have this thing sucked all the way up to my head, I do have a little bit of peripheral vision out either side, which is actually a good thing because it allows me to look around in both directions, but it still gives me that thermal image straight out ahead. Now, it is interesting is I've been panning through the different color options here. And in this particular setup, this situation, I've noticed the green and black seems to be the easiest one for me to go between the two, which is actually meant to kind of mimic night vision whereas thermal is usually on a pink, red, blue, yellow kind of scale. Now, unfortunately with this thermal camera, it only captures photos, it doesn't take video. So this video is captured just by holding up my camera to the viewfinder. So it's not as great as what you're actually seeing through the viewfinder, but this gives you a rough idea of what to expect. Now, if you wanna see a full video of all the pros and cons of this camera, I will have a link, like I mentioned before, to my main channel where I have a review of this camera. Now, if you'd like to see a video on how I set up my whole helmet here with the Ear Pro and comms and whatnot, I'm happy to do that. Leave me a comment down below if you'd like to see some more kind of this kind of outdoor stuff on the channel, and I'd be happy to do it 
for you. Now, if this video helped you out, please give it a great big thumbs up. I will have a link to this thing down below, the mounts, the 3D print files and everything else. And I will also have a link to the original review video of this that I have on my main channel. So if this video did help you out, give it a great big thumbs up, leave me a comment down below. And of course, thanks for watching.